How's it going, lads and ladies? It is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and today I'm just have a completely different type of video where I went back to GTA Online for the first time in 36 years, and uh, I just wanted to mess around, have a bit of fun. This is the kind of thing I used to do in GTA Online. I uh, didn't really like to play it, more so than I like to play the people playing the game, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to start playing here. I found a nice secluded spot uh, in the country, rural area of the map and uh, nice pier here, it's scenic middle of the night so I start messaging people uh, I find this guy here, what's his name, Cool Cat and uh, I, the, I think the first message I sent to him which doesn't get picked up by the recording on the PlayStation was uh, excuse me and then message sent as you can see in the corner and then he replies there saying yes yes so I replied to him, I gotta tell you how I reply because it doesn't record them. I said, uh, excuse me, have you seen my wife? And he replies saying, I'm Heldine her hostage. So his, his spelling isn't the best, but he might not be a native English speaker or whatever. Uh, so I sent him a message then saying, uh, what did I say to him here? Uh, oh yeah, I want to hear her. I won't let me hear her. And he says, honey, help me. So at this point, I try to initiate a bit of voice chat. Uh, I try using the phone to actually call him, but to my horror, he cancels. He says busy. Alright, so I'm starting to panic now. I'm starting to wonder about my wife. I'm starting to believe the story I'm weaving here. So I send him another message. And uh, I think I say something like, what do you want? Yeah, and then he replies saying, three million. So, of course, she's my wife, she's worth everything. Uh, I say, I have the money, meet me at the pier. And uh, he says, 9 o'clock. Alright, so once he says that, I'm preparing a little trap for him here. I got a proximity mine. I want him to walk all the way down the pier to me, so I plant a little proximity mine there. Now, it does make a beeping sound, I'm just kind of got like, fingers crossed he never hears the beeping sound. That's my plan. Uh, if he pulls any stunts and doesn't give me back Sandra, I was, that's the name of my wife, by the way. And I'm practicing, I'm, I'm getting my uh, gestures ready. And I see him, he's got a plane. Uh, I think I checked the time, yeah, it's an hour and a half away. Practicing, you know, I got the hands up. Because you can do these things in GTA Online. You can make your character put their hands up. So it's an hour away, I just remind him, because he's still not very close to me on the map. I say, hey, look, look there's uh, just an hour left. And he's still not near me, and he says, indeed, so he does have a plane, so a plane, you can get anywhere fast with the plane, so I'm not too worried yet. Checking out the map, and then I can't, I can't actually find him anymore. He's not there, he's not this one over here, this is the area he had been in originally, and he's left us. So now I'm starting to wonder, has he gone off the radar? You can do that, so you can pay Lester the Molester to take your name off the radar. And I'm getting a little bit paranoid, I'm like, maybe he's here already, maybe he's watching me, you know? It's nearly 9am, in-game time. I sent him a message. I say, I'm alone, he says, me too. You know, this is all part of the deal. No cops, no backup, just one-on-one. -on -one. And then I'm like, hold on a sec, what about Sandra? You shouldn't be alone, and then he says, with me, I talked over that too soon. But you get the idea. So at this point, I'm like, okay, he could be here, he could be watching me, he could be off the radar. I'm just going to keep my hands up, I'm going to be non-threatening. He's nowhere to be seen, still on the radar. That thing is only temporary, he should have popped up soon. Or he should have popped up sooner. Reply to him, I think. Oh yeah, I say you're late. He says, where are you? I tell him I'm, I'm at the pier where me and Sandra first met. You know, I'm committed to the story. And I'm like, where the hell is he? And then I'm starting to think, wait, what if he went to a different pier? The only other pier I can think of is this one down here, and look where he is. He's all the way down in the wrong pier. Uh, I'm sickened at this stage. Because um, I have to wait ages for him now to come up to my pier. I'm looking around, and then he's like, I'm at the wrong pier. He tells me what, I, what I've already discovered to my horror. I replied to him saying, that's fine, I'll wait, just don't hurt Sandra. I peep him out again and see what he's doing, he's on the move. 
and he's got a plane again. So it's like, okay, he'll be here soon. And lo and behold, you see him in the distance over there. He's landing the plane. He's got Sandra. I'm so excited. I'm going to see my wife again. And then tragedy strikes. The plane crashes. Sandra's dead. He's probably knocked unconscious or something. I reply to him, screaming Sandra's name. At this point, it's all over. I've got nothing to live for. He replies saying, shh. So I've got my hands up. He's over there. I can see him on the radar. He kills some random fella. I don't know why he did that. But because he did that, he scared the NPCs and they're running right towards my fucking uh, proximity mine. They're going to set off my trap. Try to scare them away. It doesn't work. I have to take them out. I have to put them down like dogs. Now I'm ready. The trap is set. He's on his way. You can see him pulling up in his car there at the very top of the pier steps. He's not running. He's taking his time. He wants that three million cash. He's being, you know, cautious. He's looking around. He's slowly making his way down them steps. This is the man I've been messaging for the past 20 minutes. Everything has been leading up to this moment. The proximity mine is set. It's making a beeping sound. Will he hear the beeping sound? Will he see it? Or will he just think it's more trash on the pier, like every other bit of trash on the pier? My heart is racing at this point. Anything could happen. He's slowly making his way towards me. I'm, I'm doing my best to not look threatening. My hands are up. Every step he takes is a step closer to that proximity mine. All I can think about at this point is Sandra. He's taken her away from me. I'll never have late night cuddles on the couch anymore with Sandra. He's so close to it now. He's about to set it off. He doesn't see us. Boom. Blast him. I'm like, you know what, this guy, he might not stay dead. I'm getting out of here. There's a submarine beside me the whole time. I'm like, you know what, fuck this, I'm taking the submarine. This guy might have, like, an orbital strike that he can launch at me at any time. I think I might be safe underwater. So I retreat under the sea. And he sends me a chilling message saying, I'll be back. Turns my blood cold. I think I replied to him saying, you know, this was for Sandra. You know, revenge for Sandra, something like that. And I'm going deep. I say, I want to go deeper underwater. Hey. Simeon's calling me. Piss off, Simeon. I'm watching the radar. He's just sitting at that pier watching me, giving me the heebie-jeebies. He says goodbye, Pedro. I don't know, was he trying to call me pedo there or something? I don't know why he called me Pedro. Uh, but I replied to him saying farewell. I think that's it. He's done. He turns around on the radar and it's like, okay, this is over now. Um, I'm just going to go a little bit deeper just in case. I keep descending. And then a scary thing happens. Cool Cat is off the radar. At this point, my heart is racing again. Where is he? Why would he go off the radar? I, li I message him. I say, hey, why are you off the radar? But he doesn't reply to me. At this point, I'm panicking. I'm freaking out. Paranoid. And what happens? Boom. His radar dot just appears. It comes back. It's very close to me. He's either on the water, or he's in the water, or he's above me, or he's below me. I don't know. I turn off my lights, just in case he can see them. I'm trying to stay as quiet as I can. I don't know what's happening. Eventually, I'm just like, you know what? I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna make a break for land. I can see some islands nearby. I'm gonna dish this guy. He's probably on the surface or whatever. And then, boom, his lights. He's got his own submarine. It's a fucking low speed underwater submarine chase. My lights are back on so I can see where I'm going. The tension is unbelievable at this point. This is Hollywood action stuff. Have you ever seen a submarine pursuit? I got a surface. I got to breach the surface before this guy. I got to get on land. Maybe then I can pull out a weapon, defend myself. He's hot on my tail. You know, he, at one point he bumps into me, you can hear the sound is scraping, and it's like thunder. There it is. Terrifying stuff, I'm about to breach the surface again. I'm like, I'm here, this is this, I pop out, I open up the whatever that thing is on top of the hatch. He's already out of his submarine somehow, he got out the back, and boom, I trip. And as I trip, he shoots me in the head. 
which causes me to go unconscious. I spawn, I wash ashore at a nearby beach. And I send the message, you know, it's one for one now. Let's finish this once and for all. I ask him to meet me at the top of this p place up here, this peninsula, for hand-to-hand -hand combat. This will be our final showdown. Boom, he's got a helicopter. He's coming. He's coming. He throws himself from the helicopter, pops a parachute, and this is it. It's on now. He's right beside me all of a sudden. I'm getting ready to throw some fucking slaps, lefts and rights. He comes in, slaps me in the jaw. I dodge the kick. I whiff. He hits me in the back of the head and slaps me in the face. I dodge, counter with the one-two. Unbelievable stuff here now. We're, we're sizing each other up. I push him. I get him, get him away from me. Stay two, two feet apart. COVID-19. We're both wearing masks, though, so it's okay. I start laying into him now. I'm looking for the counters. I want to bait him. But then he baits me. He does a jump instead of a kick by accident. Embarrassing stuff. I push him in the back. He slaps a fucking tree and breaks his right wrist. But he keeps going. He's all on adrenaline right now. He's running on adrenaline. He whiffs. We're just, I just, at this point, I'm just laying into him. He's laying into me. And one final kick to the dick each. And we're both out for the count. I wake up. We both washed up on the shore again. He sends me a message saying, I'll see you in hell. That's it. I'm like, this is it. It's over now. I'm going to finish him. I'm going to drown him. Boom. Slap him in the jaw. He's got a brick in his hand. He starts beating me over the head with a brick. That's it. Pulls out a gun. Pops me in the head. It's over now. He's killed me. I pull out the phone. I send him one last message. I say, you won. You win. You know, the better man won. And that was it. He left. He leaves the server. I'll never see him again. And that's how it ends.